Good morning, everybody. So today's video is gonna be, that was a really happy intro, wow. Today's video is going to be a what I wore in a week. I know you guys love these, so I'm gonna be sharing my outfits with you this week and maybe a little bit longer than a week. We'll see how we go. But if you're looking for some autumnal style inspiration, then keep on watching. So this is today's outfit of the day. I'm just basically at home and running errands today. So I am wearing almost a full Zara outfit. This would have been a full Zara outfit if my new sliders had arrived from Zara, but sadly they haven't yet. But I've got this white shirt jacket on with a Zara black ribbed body and the matching Zara black ribbed cycle shorts. My Birkenstocks. I got these on Amazon. They've sold out everywhere because I think this colorway is quite like, either they did a limited run or people just love them, but they're quite hard to get hold of. I originally saw them on ASOS and they were out of stock, but managed to find them on Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime is just my favorite thing ever for like any random thing that I can't get in stock anywhere else. They always seem to have like a secret stock. So yeah, that is my outfit of the day. That's the main bulk of it. And then I also have my Givenchy bag. I love this little one. It's so cute. It just makes every outfit look really, really cute and kind of dresses it up a little bit as well, which I like. Just like a little bit of dressiness, but not too much. And it works really nicely with a neutral outfit. In terms of jewellery, I'm keeping things pretty minimal. So I've got all of my like Maria Tash earrings in. I get a lot of questions on my jewellery. I might just start putting it in the info box as like a standard, but everything is from Maria Tash apart from my opal studs, which are from a brand called Wake. I do spend a fair amount on my jewellery, but it's because I, do I don't ever take these out. So I spend like a chunk, but only very, very rarely. And I rarely have to buy anything new because all of the Maria Tash and Wake pieces last so well, like nothing tarnishes. They don't ever need like a polish or anything like that. So I think, yeah, it's mostly Maria Tash and then the Wake studs. Oh, that one is actually from my own jewellery line that I did with Majuri years ago. I'll link all of them below, but it's very similar to the classic Maria Tash little three ball studs. So yeah, that is my jewellery. And then I've got a necklace on, which is from Sammy Maria's Ibiza collection. It's just really simple and really dainty and just a nice touch of jewellery, but nothing too much. I find, weirdly, since I've got my hair cut, the hair kind of does most of the like talking and then everything else I just keep pretty simple, which I actually kind of enjoy. As you guys will know, especially for autumn, winter, I love like a minimal, really neutral, paired back kind of look. So I actually feel like this hair is gonna work with it. I'm rocking this kind of like, I'm gonna call it French girl hair, but I really don't wanna offend any French girls that actually have really lovely hair. <laughs> and they're like, uh, no, you just have like a bird's nest on your head. I'm just keeping it fairly like relaxed with like some natural movement through it, but like not really doing too much to it and just having either like one side tucked behind my ear or even both sides. I've been doing a lot this week. And it's just really simple and like pair back. But I think because it's not like dead straight and it's got a little bit of movement to it, it just looks quite cool. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been going for. I really need to sort this out. Don't look at it. I'm just, I'm so glad that I actually don't film my whole head. Roots, what roots? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this is outfit number one of my first autumn, what I wore in a week. This is a very transitional outfit, but we're having a little mini heat wave at the moment, so bear with. Hopefully things will get a bit cozier, but yeah. Outfit number one. Hi, me again, but just popping back in. I wanted to let you know, uh, I just remembered that if you want to buy any of the Sammy Maria jewelry, there's gonna be a code. I'll pop it in the info box for you just to be like super clear, but there'll be a discount code, which I believe is Ibiza Susie. I will pop it in the info box. There might be a hyphen somewhere in there, but if you wanna purchase anything, there'll be a little discount code. Hello everybody, today it is Thursday. It is super warm again today, very non-autumnal, sadly. So I've gone for an outfit that was one of my summer favorites, but with a little, kind of autumn-y footwear twist. My dog is going crazy, are you okay? Oh, <laughs> she loves this tiger. It's almost the same size as her. So ignore the tiger in the background. <laughs> it's just, is it just living there now? <laughs> Here you go. As I was saying, I've gone for a slightly autumnal twist on the footwear. I feel like this counts as autumn-y, right? I need to start a poll. Do we love these shoes? Do we hate them? Let me know, they basically match my chair. But um, I really like them. I just love an ugly shoe, like chunky boots, like really ugly chunky boots, love them. Birkenstocks, like um, fluffy Birkenstock-esque shoes, love them. So yeah, that is my autumnal twist because that's about all the autumn I can cope with at the moment because it's so warm. So I've got this very old Topshop, like ribbed jersey. It's like a very stretchy material, but it's not super soft. It's got a bit of a like texture to it, which I really like. It's like a midi style dress. I've had it for ages. 
I love it. And then I've got an old mango cardigan on, which actually I think Zara currently have a dupe for. So if it is still available, I will link it in the info box because it's a really, really good dupe, like the best I've found so far. It's practically identical apart from the buttoning is ever so slightly different. I think the buttons are smaller and they maybe double up. But yeah, that is what I'm wearing today. Just a nice mix of like, I can shed the car shed the cardigan? Wow, take off the cardigan. If I get a bit too warm, I can throw it on if things get a bit chilly. And then we just have some really cute fluffy footwear. So yeah, that is today's outfit. And then like zero jewelry on today, just very minimal. It's too hot for all of that. And I've changed outfits for other videos like six times. Hello everybody, it's Friday. As you may be able to see, I have been filming. So it is actually like nearly five o'clock. I'm about to pop to the shops. This is what I have been wearing in between throwing on all of my try-ons today, but this is what like I've actually been wearing since I woke up this morning and what I will be wearing until I get into my pajamas. I am wearing a jumper from Topshop. This is like double folded and then tucked because it's actually like super long. And then my Zara ribbed cycle shorts. Currently got slippers on, but I'm gonna be throwing on my Birkenstocks to go out to the shop and that is pretty much it. A very, very basic Friday outfit. I've got that Friday feeling. I'm about to finish work and I'm very excited about it. So yeah, that is Friday's outfit. I'll be back hopefully with something a little bit more exciting on Monday. Good morning, everybody. Today it is Tuesday. I'm off to the doctors today. So I've had to get dressed, but really for the past like three days, it has been very, very casual wear. Real like non-outfits. So I don't know, I'm super tired today. So today's outfit is like kind of minimal, comfortable and if I'm squinty, that is why, because this little one kept me up most of the night barking. Yeah. So this is today's outfit. I'm wearing a Topshop midi dress with an ASOS belt around the middle, my Givenchy croc bag, and then my Gucci trainers. Normally I would wear like a boot with this or my sliders, my black sliders, but they are at Ryan's house though. So those would have been my preferred choice to be fair. I think they would have looked a bit cooler. Just a nice kind of like minimal comfy outfit, but that actually looks kind of nice. I feel like it looks better IRL than it does on camera. But yeah, that is today's outfit of the day. It's cute, it's one of my faves at the moment. For today it is Wednesday, we're keeping it real today. Minimal makeup, I've literally done my brows and my lashes and put on some lip gloss and that is where we are at. That's as far as we got today. I'm literally just having one of those like very, very low key days. So today's outfit, I wanted to show you because it's like one of my nicer, more non outfits, if that makes sense. I'm literally running out to get food. That is, that is what I'm doing. So the sunglasses are going on. They cover up the majority of my bad skin, just not my forehead. So um, I love these. And this is gonna be my OOTD. This is a classic autumn look from Susie Bernaldi. Got my All Saints hoodie, which is fresh out the wash, but it looks just, I think it actually looks worse than before it went in the wash. But this is actually, I think, still on sale. So I will link it in the info box for you guys. My hair has been not done because I just CBA. I'm a day away from a haircut. Tomorrow I'm getting my haircut. So I CBA to wash it today because it's just gonna get washed again tomorrow. And I don't like to wash it too often. I don't think it's good to wash your hair that often. And that is why I think that is my secret to being able to go for quite a few days without washing my hair. I'm definitely not one of those people that has to wash like every day or every other day. So yeah, anyway, messy hair, giant sunglasses to hide my skin. <laughs> All Saints hoodie, I've got a body on underneath for warmth as well. It's still not super cold outside, but actually when I go into like a supermarket, it ends up being freezing. So yeah, I thought I'd throw a hoodie on and then I've got a body underneath. And then my Zara leather look leggings, which are getting very baggy. I need to try and shrink these. Wish I still had a tumble dryer. And then my Zara chunky boots. I just really love this look. It's kind of cool, but it's still low key and I really like that. So yeah, that is today's real non OOTD. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hello everybody. Today it is Thursday. It is pouring down with rain. So I'm wearing a very classic rainy day autumn outfit to be honest. I'm going to get my hair done, which is why it looks not great. Like my parting is all over the place. And I've just been waiting for my hair to be done so that it can be like washed and all fresh. Yeah, you know when you're like a day off having your hair done and you're like, I'm not washing it until I see my hairdresser. So that's been me. That's why I've been looking like this. I can't remember if I even said that yesterday. But anyway, this is my going to the hairdresser outfit. We have a classic 
trench coat like the perfect coat for when it's like rainy but it's not actually freezing cold this one i really like it's from asos it's in this lovely like tan camel color i don't really love the very standard kind of like beigey tone that a lot of trench coats come in i either want them in like a nude or i want them in a tan because otherwise they just look a little bit yellow against my skin tone so yeah i love this one and i also really like the fact that it has the belt is like internal but then like pops out here and you can pull it and keep it quite ruched and i got a size 10 and to be honest i could have got an eight should have got an eight i know classic me at the moment i just never get the sizing right i really like the fact that it has the ruching at the back because even if you don't do the coat up it still gives the back some more shape and stops it looking like it's swamping me. So really, really like that. And then I've got a Zara nude top on, Zara leather leggings. And then I've also popped on these Zara boots as well. They come up quite high to about here. Just perfect like rainy day boots. So yeah, that is what I am wearing today. Good morning, everybody. Today it is Friday. Yes, best day. I've just been doing a workout, so I thought I'd show you my outfit this morning. I don't really show mine workout outfits in what i wore in a week but i thought i would this week so i just pinned my hair back when i was working out because it's so short that it doesn't actually like interfere which is a real first for me but i'm wearing a beach riot sports bra i've been really enjoying actually wearing this with my green sorry i'm slightly out of breath because i've literally just finished skipping my green h&m leggings i've been really enjoying wearing this with them because the colors really complement each other but today i'm wearing my Vali leggings not super bloated today so i can actually wear these ones because they actually have like this seam that comes down here and when i'm bloated it just looks like it's cupping my bloated belly so yeah that is what i'm wearing today i'm so like unfit at the moment i really haven't worked out in such a long time so i'm feeling like a bit of a potato but the outfit is cute so it's helping and then on my feet i've got some new trainers these are from nike i picked them up off ASOS, it's where I get all of my trainers from, sorry. My tracksuit bottom fluff is all over the place. Anyway, yeah, I get all of my trainers from ASOS just because the next day delivery is amazing. And these are so comfortable. Like I know they're a new pair of trainers, so they're always gonna feel better than my current, like old trainers that I've been wearing for like two years. <laughs> but they really are like so much more comfortable, like so bouncy, so nice to run in, so nice to skip in. So I'm very, very happy with these. I will link them. Yeah, that is this morning's workout outfit. I'm now about to go out to the garden centre, so I'm going to change into something that isn't active wear and that isn't sweaty. But yeah, this is my workout outfit of the day. I've actually only just got dressed and it's like half full. I actually ended up staying in my gym kit for most of the day. I had to go to the garden centre and I was, it was raining. I was like, Do you know what? Nah, I'm going to throw a hoodie on over this and we're just going to style it out. I did not style it out, it was not cute. I looked, <laughs> I looked interesting. And then I came home and I actually have been working on a room in the house that just, there was no point in me being dressed and looking nice. So I have literally thrown together makeup and an outfit in like five seconds. So I might watch this back and be like, that makeup was bad. I feel like I've definitely overdone it slightly on the, on the, I can't even say it, on the, on the blush, on the blush and bronzer. Wow, but it's fine, it's fine. I look very bronzed and I'm fine with it. But I'm actually really happy because whilst I was working on a room in the house, I found the tie waist to this dress. This is one of my favorite dresses that I, I think I got it last autumn and I just love it so much. It's super comfy and really easy to wear. And yeah, I'm so happy to be reunited with it now that it's cold enough to wear it again. But really happy to be reunited with the tie waist because when I've actually shot it, I shot it for some Instagram photos before it was actually shot with um, like a coat tie waist as the tie waist because I couldn't find this bit. So it was meant to be that I found it today and I'm gonna stop chatting and show you the outfit now. Your girl is tired, I can barely speak. But yeah, this is the outfit that I'm wearing today. I have paired it with my ugly, ugly shoes. That actually, I was surprised at how many of you, I accidentally put them on my Instagram. These are coming up in a haul that is coming on Sunday and I was trying not to show you guys them I, tr I really try and hang on to like some of my haul stuff I try and hang on to the items until like it's gone up but I really I failed with this and I really just like actually this week I failed with a lot of the items to be honest but these were a real like everyone was asking about them so these are from Zara I love them I would give you a close-up but me and my toenails are currently working through some issues so no close-up but they're such a nice shoe like just for when I'm around the house we're ordering dinner in tonight I just I love Birkenstocks like I have actual like grey Birkenstocks for just like house and garden yeah these are really nice for actually they look kind of like 
a slipper but they're not and if I need to run out and like pick up food or anything like that I'm just like ready to go and they work really nicely with this dress as well which I love yeah so that is my outfit of the evening I will be back with you tomorrow I have no idea what I'm gonna wear tomorrow I have no idea what I'm doing this weekend so this is gonna be interesting good morning everybody today is Sunday this is gonna be the weirdest what I wore in a week for me to watch back because I've basically worn zero makeup this week. I've just about managed to do my brows this morning and that is what we are working with. But I'm going for a pub lunch today. So this is what I am wearing. We've got Zara leather leggings, which have just been a staple for me. I feel like this week, I've just been very, very easy to throw on my Zara chunky boots from last season. If there are similar ones to both of these, I will like link them. And then I've got a Topshop like high neck jumper. It actually comes up really high, but I don't love when stuff does this, it makes me feel a bit weird. So I just roll it down. And then we've got my Prada backpack just to add a little bit of like, I don't know, it's got all my snacks in it for if we go on a walk, all my stuff, all my supplies, you know, but it looks bougie at the same time and kind of adds a little bit of like, the gold adds a little bit of warmth to this all black, quite cold outfit. So yeah, that is what I am wearing. Oh, I have sunglasses as well. So these are my sunglasses. They're from Givenchy. They're basically the only ones that aren't kind of tidied away in my wardrobe room at the moment. So yeah, that is what I am wearing, but they're a nice like classic black pair, kind of similar to Ray-Bans, but there are some Ray-Ban stars that are like this, but they're a little bit more oversized and I just, I love them. I've loved them for so long now. So yeah, that is today's outfit. Okay, I am home from my roast. Taking all the fact that I've got dry shampoo in my hair, I am dry shampooing for the week ahead rather than a Sunday hair wash. I'm gonna have a birthday blow dry at some point this week, so <laughs> I'm just making do. I have changed into my Zara lounge set. So this is a top and trackies, which just work so nicely together. Would be better if my <laughs> tummy fake tan had not rubbed off, but here we are. I've also paired it with my ASOS Slippers, these come in and out of stock all the time. I will try and link to them if I can, but I think like set up stock notifications and see when they come back in and just like grab them whilst they are in stock because these things just fly. So yeah, I will also link this if it's still available. I've had this since about January, but I feel like they still do a couple of pairs of the trackies that I have from there. That's what I'm wearing. This dry shampoo is bugging me so much. Yeah, that is what I'm wearing for around the house on Sunday afternoon. I will be back with you tomorrow for my final outfit of the week or the past two weeks because it's been a long time everybody today it is monday this morning i am going to just pop to the garden center i have a day at home so today's outfit is very reflective of that to be honest this whole what i wore in a week has been very difficult because for the majority of time i am at home and things get really slobby around here really day to day so you'll probably see that over the next couple of months especially as things get colder i appreciate some of you might not have this issue because you live in countries where you're actually like allowed to do stuff but it's pretty slim pickings over here to be honest so little trip to the garden center a bit of posturing around at home so i've got a nice comfy little outfit so i'm wearing a v-neck t-shirt from asos it kind of can be worn like i'm kind of mixing this outfit between a little bit off shoulder and a little bit like this i really wanted to put a blazer over this but it just looked too smart for what i was doing today so i think when it gets to being a little bit colder i will start wearing my blazers with like hoodies and stuff like that it really helps to casual it down and i still get the wear out of some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe which are blazers i love them but right now i'm not really going outside so they're just not the most appropriate especially not if i'm just going to a garden center this outfit does look very cute which was my point with a blazer over the top like my cream blazer so cute but yeah this is from asos this is old from topshop but if they still have something like it or if i can find any dupes i will link them black cycle shorts these are ribbed and they are from asos i've then got my nike trainers on because honestly these are the most comfortable trainers i have ever worn them so much and they're like a little bit chunky but not too chunky so they just like kind of proportion the lookout well and then i've just got my prada backpack and that is today's look so that is it for this what i wore in a week i hope you guys enjoyed it it's actually been really interesting for me kind of looking back at what i have worn and what i've been getting more wear out of midi dresses are definitely a great kind of like at home 
autumn winter staple for me i think at the moment as well as snuggly jumpers i think those are the things that oh and leather leggings obviously i think those are the things that i'm definitely gonna be wearing a little bit more over autumn winter and things that i think are probably worth investing in this autumn winter if you're kind of not sure where to aim for because i know like lots of us are like mm, I don't, i'm not really like wearing my coats as much or i'm not really wearing like you know fancy shoes or anything like that i think like a good pair of boots nice kind of like shirt jacket type things midi dresses that kind of vibe it's been really interesting for me looking back at the footage and seeing like what has worked this week and what i've actually ended up really wearing so i hope you guys found it useful as well i will be back with you very very soon i think on thursday for a new video and sunday as well i have a haul coming up which you are not going to want to miss i have been trying so hard to not show any of the items in this video like i keep going to wear the things and i want to wear the things so much but yeah i haven't so that is coming on sunday keep an eye out for it but yeah that is going to be it from me i really hope you're all having the best day and i'll see you guys again very very soon bye